hello everyone welcome back to spectrum classes in this video we are going to discuss how to determine the gross calorific value by using bomb calorie meter so i will give you the detailed description of the bomb calorie meter and how to determine the gross calorific value by using this bomb calorie meter and the different type of corrections we are making in this now the determination of gcb by bomb calorie meter so first i will show you the construction of bomb calorie meter here and then we are moving to the principle of this bomb calorie meter right so first of all we are having this steel bomb and within this steel bomb we are having sample crucible and in this sample crucible we are having fuse wire as well as electrodes so here we are having this fuse this is the fuse wire and uh, this is these are the electrodes which are connected to the battery and now there since it cannot be burned without oxygen so there is an oxygen inlet and outside this steel bomb we are having a water jacket right so this water jacket is having water and then this water because it is heated so nearby this steel bomb it is heated more so just to homogenize this we need a mechanical stirrer and then we need to know the temperature of this water how much it is raised so for that purpose we are using this Beckman um, thermometer see this the beauty of this or the speciality of this Beckman thermometer is that it can correctly accurately measure 0 0.1 degree centigrade temperature also right so there there is an air jacket outside this just to insulate this and uh, this is the construction of the bomb calorie meter the principle of bomb calorie meter is a a known amount of your fuel is kept inside this sample crucible right this sample is burned in the presence of air with the help of this fuse wire as soon as we are just connect our battery then this fuse wire is burnt out right by using that energy our fuel is start burning right and as the fuel starts burn temperature raises and that temperature dissipated to this water bath right and whatever be the temperature raise in temperature that will be measured by with the help of this Beckman thermometer and to homogenize the water we use mechanical stirrer out of this right so here i am just going to show you how, how we are going to measure the calorific value of a fuel so here first we are going to measure the gcb or hcb of a fuel so this is equal to w plus w into t2 minus t1 upon x in the same way we are just going to determine the low calorific value out of this hcb as we discussed the formula in the previous slide right so here I am just going to show you here x is the mass of the fuel sample taken in the crucible in grams w is the mass of the water in the calorie meter which we have taken over there and a small w is the water equivalent of calorie meter. I have just made one video on the experiment how to determine the water equivalent of a calorie meter so you can go and check that. So there is a small W which is equal what the water equivalent of bomb calorie meter. T1 is the initial temperature of the water in the calorie meter and T2 is the final temperature of the water in the calorie meter and S, S is the specific heat of water which is 1 calories per gram per degree centigrade right. So while doing the numericals we are using this specific heat of water fine. If you are not having the water equivalent of calorie meter then you can simply calculate it with the help of weight of apparatus weight of apparatus into specific heat specific heat of what specific heat which is given for the container right and uh, for this purpose if we are doing uh, we are experimentally measuring this this uh, hcb of benzoic acid and hcb of naphthalene is used to determine the water equivalent of the given uh, calorie meter right so initially we do we are going to perform the experiment with this so this is about the determination of gcb by the bomb calorie meter but this uh, reading is not very accurate so there need to be some corrections in the formula so what are the corrections so corrections are like this 
here this scenes we are having this formula but the value is not exactly so what are the corrections so fuse wire correction because this fuse wire is burnt and just because of the burning of this fuse wire some heat is evolved and that has to be eliminated from the uh, heat evolved uh, heat generated by the mass of the given fuel therefore we are just eliminating this fuse wire correction secondly acid correction if our fuel sample is containing sulfur and nitrogen then those sulfur and nitrogen atoms on combination with hydrogen and oxygen they produces sulf uh, sulfuric acid as well as nitric acid and these two are exothermic reactions therefore they also produce some heat so that has to be eliminated from the formula second and the third one is the cotton thread here cotton thread is sometimes cotton is also used and uh, which is helps the fuel to be burned with the help of this fuse wire right so that cotton is also it produces some heat that has to be eliminated from there and in addition to that there is a cooling correction since the temperature of water is dissipated over there but that is quite slow process therefore this cooling correction is added to this fine now the final formula is like this capital w plus small w into raising temperature minus fuse wire correction minus cotton thread correction minus acid correction plus cooling correction divided by x so the whole upon x right sometimes a student made a mistake they simply divide these two terms with a with the x and then eliminate all such things actually that made a mistake in your uh, answer so and the unit of this hcv is calorie per gram or kilocalories per gram fine so i hope you understand once we are determining this hcv we can calculate lcv also right i hope you understand this and you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching